one of the first things they unveiled at Google I.O. this year was the fact that they brought Google Assistant to the iPhone. So it looks like the rumors and stuff were pretty much spot on. Now with this being an iOS, then you know that this won't be able to be baked in or used natively, that you're going to have to just download an app from the App Store. So you'll have the option to access it via the app or through a widget, which is more or less a big icon. And like with Google Assistant and Android, you can do it by voice or you can type in what you want to search. So what can you do with it? Kind of pretty much the same thing you can do it on Android. You can access what information on the weather, answers, finances, do, you know, the typical Google search, play music, play games, access Google navigation via Google Maps, not Apple Maps, and a lot more. And of course, with this, the restrictions, you won't be able to remap your home button to do Google Assistant or instead of Siri. And speaking of other things you can't do, you won't be able to send iMessages or take photos using your voice. Um, those are just some of the few things that you probably won't be able to do with this at launch. But as far as performance and speed, there's a lot of, there are some good things that it can do better and faster than Siri, but Siri is baked in and works on more native levels. So if you're into the Apple ecosystem over, you know, the Google stuff, then you might want to stick with Siri or you could just use them both and then just use whatever works for you in the time that you need it. The assistant app is available right now in the US in the app store and it'll be coming in more countries later. Be on the lookout for more video content from us here at Google I.O. Thanks for watching and take care.